<laughs> uh, what would Greta say? That's whenever I, whenever I say something wrong. Say. Okay. <laughs> so we want to talk about something serious. This is a public service announcement, and we want to get right into it. Why you should never, never, never have started playing guitar. <laughs> or if you're thinking about it, just quit now. Stop now. Such a positive video. Just... <laughs> I mean, it's like turn sound on the Grammys for It's like, you get in that Grammy, just kidding, you're not. Even though you deserve it. Maybe not for metal, but they deserve your Grammy. They got <laughs> snubbed. At least Wet Leg got one. And that dress, yummy. But anyway, let's get right into it. Click like, subscribe. Hit the old bell. <laughs> Am I the one that watches the Grammys still? Yes. And the Oscars? Yes, you are. 100%. Help me. Um, number one, it is a massive, massive, massive time suck. Also a massive hit for Hootie and the Blowfish. Time. Such a dead <laughs> I was like, I knew what you meant right when you said it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, horrible. It's that kind of morning. But um, don't worry, we have positive stuff at the end coming. Maybe. So, <laughs> or not. Maybe we're just gonna. This is like this, is like The Last of Us. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Like The Walking Dead never stops. At least The Last of Us won't wind it. Just a slow decline. Kind yeah. of sadness. Um, no, it is. It's an extreme time commitment. That's true. And you, and, and like with the time, like, and this is something else we were talking about. Like you might never get to where you think, you know, you're going to get with that. You know, just, you have to manage your expectations. Yes. But, but I mean, you know, I've been average my whole life. Who gives a crap? <laughs> what else are you going to spend your time doing? Right. You're going to do no, some dumb thing. Warhammer 40 K, which is, I think a better <laughs> expenditure of time, like painting those figures and stuff. I've, the fact that that's like on my feed sometimes, like watching how they do it, and I and I don't scroll past. I'm, like, I'm fascinated how they do the sand. I'm still. I forgot that it's like, it's like the new way people do those weird little pottery. Dose, money, dinero. It's this cost a lot of money. Now Fender came out with this thing, which is really funny. They came out with it a while ago, and I remember hearing Andy, the CEO. I like to call him my first name. The CEO of Fender is Andy. Me and Andy, our pal, out on the course together. I'm actually going to see him today. Later, You're I'll see him the same today. Um, I will be I will be hanging out with Andy. That's weird. You're jet setting. I am a jet setter. No, but um, he was like, well, you know, ninety percent of people quit guitar over the course of the first six months of playing, and they'll spend an average of ten thousand dollars for their lifetime. I was like, ten thousand dollars? That's starter money. <laughs> I was gonna say. That's, you mean last year? That's yeah. the first month for some folks. It's um, well, God, we see guys who ten thousand dollars is not even the beginning of their. That's like, the first year guitar budget. sometimes. That's like someone told me the other day. Give me a little like, pacemaker stop that. that. People bought guitars and just hang on the wall. <laughs> I was like, what? I look uh, around <laughs> us. We don't play these guitars, even the one signed by Slash uh, right between us. It's yeah, not, it's, yeah. we don't, well, I did. I mean, I would, I'd be one of those. You haven't played it yet, have you? No, but it's I so good. Oh, well, it's frustrating. Um, Number three, this is a serious one. <laughs> it's true. Your partner is never really going to understand this, most likely. Yeah, yeah. This is a solitary path. This is the way. Yep. You walk alone. You don't take your helmet off. Ever. Never. You, you play. You. I know they, it is. It's tough. Like they'll, they'll come in like, hey, honey, are you, are you coming to bed? Like, no. Mm-hmm. Are, you, are you done yet? You want to come? So wearing, you know, when, when your fella's wearing that nice little negligee. <laughs> what is negligee? Those nice gray sweatpants. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> negligee. Like lingerie what? is the word I know, but I don't. What, what is the negligee? Is that the shirt? I feel like it should be a specific thing, right? I, I think it is. It's so little clothing, it's negligible. God, that's maybe what it means. It's um, that's a good old roots, Latin roots. It's good Latin roots. Um, no, so it is. It's a tricky little thing, and <laughs> never um. <laughs> Sorry, just it's a get, tricky. Little we're, thing. Get, we're getting ready to go off the rails here a little bit more. I mean, what if your partner plays guitar? That might be the one difference. Th- that does happen, and then sometimes you enter this like horrible. Like cyclone of just like a, a shitty band that you form with your partner. But you know what I think would be the most horrible thing if I my wife play guitar? Because like my wife will tell you, I won't like pack in the same suitcase. I don't like to share socks. Christy steals my socks all the time. And we I pack in the same backpack. God knows. You but anyways, I mean, we can all have just tiny backpacks, but I just want my own little thing. I, I don't know if I could have the revolving, like we all share all the gear. I don't know if I'd be okay with that. Yeah, I don't think you'd share your toys. No, really. no, no, no. Yeah, okay, I, I get that. Put it down. Put it down, woman. Now, number four, this is a serious one, and we want everyone to take it seriously and do it. John, if you want. It's your carbon footprint. Yeah, you have to consider. Don't laugh. You have to consider <laughs> the damage you're doing to the environment. Tubes, strings, the wood, the alloys, the metals. God. You are directly contributing to the death of our, our world by playing guitar. 
all the fuel and generator costs. This is where we're starting a campaign. What would Greta say? When you're, you're going to the guitar center for the first time, like, I'm going to pick up this car. I say, well, what would Greta say? Remember that in the back of your mind, always. I mean, yeah. I'm sure they use like things making the finishes that those oh, god awful nitro. Oh, I mean, the ozone, it's like we're like, we're trying, we're destroying, it's not destroying the world, we're destroying people with that. It's like if you expose that too long, like it kills you. <clears throat> they wear masks. Yeah, some of them don't. Sure, they do. And then you you have like psychotic episodes, and it's horrible. I, I met someone the other day, like they thought, I don't want to get into it, just like terrible things happen to a guitar builder, and it makes me sad. It's so, uh, from it's these like chemicals, I think. Absinthe or something, you know. And got some of my dear friends. I like, let's talk about Carlos. Let's talk about Gabriel. Let's talk about these ding dongs. They are not sane, normal people. No. And they've been around way too much guitar chemicals, I think. So, yeah. So, what would Greta say? Remember that when you're getting ready to pick up that new guitar. Number five, and this is the most serious one. Oh, God. This, 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 is, this one really this is, is the finale. You want to say it or should I say it? You should say this one. Um, it's all the mad sex you're going to be getting. You're not going to have, I mean, not respect the time, really. There's just so much sex. Like It's like, Too if much. you play guitar, it's like women, men, creatures will be throwing themselves at you because you don't even have to be good. Point taken. We don't have mad sex. No. I like to consider it friendly sex. <laughs> but um, no, it's uh, I, it's just the, the appetite for those carnal creatures out there once you unleash your guitar playing skills. It's too much. It's endless. More than any mortal could bear. It's it's the, the it's like of it. It's like Effie Trinket on fire. And if you know what I'm talking about, you should question your sexuality oh, or question God. your movie choices at this point. Be both. Um, no, oh God, like, I was just side note. Sorry, I was just thinking because like, it, it connects to Dune. Since I said Effie Trinket, which is not Dune. If you think it is, we have issues too. But um, Dune two, one of the stars in that is going to be the guy who played Elvis Ooh. in the Elvis biopic, and he's. He's, he's had some serious vocal damage, he thinks, from playing Elvis for like that whole year. And his voice is just readjusting to his normal voice almost because he, he spoke in that Elvis dialogue for so long. Okay. He, he created all these like weird nodules in his bass. He couldn't get rid of it. I think it's fascinating. This has nothing to do with all the sex you're behind with guitar. I just think it's a fascinating. Is that a real thing? I could go read about this. I know, yeah. It, it was like a real article in the New York Times or something. Who's he going to be in there? I can't remember. He might be the um. Is he like the, is he like the Sting character? Maybe. Maybe that would make sort of sense. One of the arc elements. Yeah, maybe so. I hope so. That's a cool. We'll look that up right when we finish doing this because that's more important than work. Yeah, absolutely. For that airplane, I have to go I mean, to go see the folks at Fender, and my my golfing appointment with Andy. Just kidding. We're not playing golf. That'd be fun though. It'd be cool if you guys got there and then you all watched Dune together. I mean, that's, that's all you did. It was just a screening, a, an early screening of Dune 2. I would lose Dune. my bazonkers. Imagine if they were releasing Dune <sighs> guitar Fenders, custom shops. I mean, I'm talking to the Fender custom shop guys. I know you're watching right now. I know it went through the room at one point about Star Wars. You did Hot Wheels, for Christ's sake. My God, how could you did Hot do Wheels, Wars. for Christ's sake, do Star Wars? I want a Wookiee Telly. And now, oh, I do all that. God. Wookiee Telly? I didn't know I wanted it until you just I want an Ewok Jaguar. I've thought about getting like Ewok statues, like real like life size ones made realistic and like putting them in the yards around here. So even people are like, oh my God, there's Ewoks. There's something pines everywhere. Wouldn't that be cool? It'd be even cooler if we could get them where like, you know, we could stage where we like run over them. Like with like we hit one. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just driving like, burp, oh my God, I, what have I hit? Ewok. It's so Ewok. things why um, you shouldn't play. Time, money, your partner's never going to understand unless they're a guitar player, then they'll understand well, well too well. Four, your carbon footprint, what would Greta say? And five, sex. Too much sex, stop. Put the guitar down, put the credit card down. You're at the store, don't come to Casino Guitars, don't go to Guitar Center, don't go to Wildwood, for Christ's sake. They have too many good Gibsons, it's frustrating. That could be frustrating. Uh, once you get one, they're like sultry, smooth, like, like uh, they're, 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 they're voices on the phone. It's like, hi, Wildwood Guitars. It's almost not fair. It's like Lance is on the phone, you're like, God. Dang you, Lance. It's like the pheromones are coming through the phone lines. Pheromones, phone. They, they had guitar pheromones. And why would they, they, they were like trendsetters and lots of things. They did it with the pheromones too. Oh, yeah. the phone. Kind of like fried chicken, like Kentucky fried chicken. What? That's why you crave it. I mean, I, pheromones. I was like, is that why? Or is it just because his finger looking good? Wait, that's pheromones. Yeah, do you remember that? Uh, do you remember that? So I married an axe murderer. Yeah, of and course. The, the grandpa is like, says they put uh, something in the chicken to make you crave it fortnightly. That's a great quote in that movie. Well, I'll show it to you. I, I mean, I do when I smell KFC. 
And my wife's from Kentucky, and that was like, she'd never been to a KFC because she wasn't, you know, she's, she, I mean, she, yeah, again, she didn't have shoes until she was 15. Well, it's but, like they don't have Taco Bells in Mexico. They don't have KFC in Kentucky. I, that's not true. That's a lot. <laughs> but it was, when I was in Switzerland once, I remember we were like, we were at a wedding, we were, we were dancing with this great tall Swiss man. He's like, oh, my, and sure, he found out my wife's from Kentucky. He's like, he, heard, he never heard of North Carolina. No one's heard of North Carolina in Switzerland. But like, Kentucky, Kentucky fried chicken. He was like, he was so excited. Like, that's like, you know, like, you know like, I live in New York. He's like, New York City, cool. The New York dreams are made of. It's like really bad. And then he's like, KFC though, yes. He's like, when you say North Carolina, like in, to Europeans, and it's so funny when Europeans are like, you guys don't know anything about countries. Like, oh, I know everybody in Europe. Europe's the size of Texas. I got you down. But if you say, like, we're North Carolina, nobody knows where North Carolina is. I mean, it's somewhere between Miami and New York, is what I usually say. They're like, oh, okay. That's the way you describe it. Yeah. Try Iowa. I mean, that's you. I like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like they've heard, maybe, they don't know where it is, but they've heard. They, to, what's funny about my talking to like people, especially in the UK, is they think they're all like next to each other. They're like, here's North Carolina. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, Iowa, it's right there. You know the people from Iowa. 46 hours later. I, I was talking to a bunch of kids one time. Like, we were doing this question and answer thing. I was, I was in, in England. And they were like, do you know 50 Cent? <laughs> I yes, like, I have it in my pocket. Absolutely. I we're neighbors. Out. Oh, I know we had the, uh, we had that friend in from Switzerland a few weeks back, and yeah. we were laughing because he was he was here for work in Asheville. And he's like, it was like four, three, three and a half hours before I drive. And I'm like, that's not much. And he's like, no, but in Switzerland, that's the entire country. That's everywhere. Yeah, that's like going yeah. from one side to the other. Like you tell someone in Switzerland you're driving three hours, like, oh, hey, it's insane. Yeah. And he was like, oh, it's only three hours. Like I drove three hours to go see Dave Chappelle. I drive drove back all the time. Yeah, you know, you drive. That's like a short drive for you. That's just like, oh, there's that's, a concert I want to go see. Down to Charleston. Easy. Done. We're driving down the mountains. Easy. Driving to Virginia. Boom. And here's another thing. If you are a male and you are living with a female, ask if she can make a machine gun sound with her mouth. I bet she can't. Really? Ask Kristen when you get home. Ask her. I don't think my wife can't do it. Girls just don't have that genetic ability, I think, of playing with G.I. Joe. She would just look at me like with this condescending, like, you know, loathing look. And I, I never thought, oh, it's because she can't do it. I just thought, oh, I, I, I there's me being irritating you know, me. And you text me later when I'm sitting there having my ties with the Fender CEO. I was like, yes. <laughs> hey, the Baxter, here's Christy doing the machine. That's, it's like this. Build, 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 da, 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 build, <laughs> this thing is so bad. So just if you have a partner or a friend or a daughter or a sister, see if they can do it. They can't but do it. as a young American boy, that's like the first sound we like learn to make. Like we get pine cones, the little, yeah, those little sticks. Goes, <laughs> and, and two, when like, we break the, like, the yeah. tops off. That's a, it's a, when you grow up in the South, we have real pine cone grenades. It's amazing. Well, yeah, and they hurt in the face, man. Especially when they're still young. But the baby ones is little, good, though, because you can spike the pin. You, yeah. And you can really just true. hurl them. Yeah. The bigger ones that can actually stick in you, you don't want that. But I used to hide in pine straw when we were doing that. Like, that takes all over me. <laughs> it's gross. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Red bugs. Red bugs. Chiggers. Chiggers. Look at all the chiggers. Welcome to the South. I'm going home. See you next time. Actually, I'm going to Fender. See you.